Okay, here we are again. I'm going to be putting the posts in the ground today. Uh, I'll get all the posts in. I don't know if I'll start the framing or not, but we'll see. Now on this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got a little bit of bark wood in it, so I want to make sure that goes to the inside. Okay, as I was saying, what we need to do now is just gather up a few of these little flat rocks. kind of wedge those rocks down in there to hold that post where you want it to be. Hey, looky there. The sawdust froze. I can make my own particle board. It's frozen too, so we're just going to have to chew around with this and do the best we can. Hopefully that smoke will change direction again. I can honestly say I've never had to backfill a hole using a hammer. But we adapt and overcome. Still perfect. I guess this ground's a little bit slopier than what I thought it was. That looks crooked, but the level showing that it's right, so I guess trust the equipment, not the eye. Well, I guess I'll just go around and do all of them like that. Save some battery for the end. Okay. So, I got all my poles in and level. Now what I'm going to do is just come to this first pole and just pick an arbitrary spot maybe an inch down from the top because I'm going to trim all the tops with the chainsaw but just pick an arbitrary spot and then uh, snap a level line across and then hopefully that'll be above my head
got about four inches of head room. Do more down here. Now I want that side down there to drop. Probably about a foot. I am ill prepared today. I don't have any pencils with me or a ladder or anything. Okay, well, I just took one of my 2x8s and split roughly in half to make a couple 2x4s. I think one of them's like 2x3 and one of them's like 2x5, but I don't guess it matters a whole lot on this little shed building, so. We're just kind of doing it rough. Now let's see how hard it is to drive a stick of nail through this crap. Without knocking our post over. I guess it's true, once you drive a nail in that crap, you can't hardly get it out. Well, that's that. Poop on it. Man, I guess I might have to either get some real good steel shank nails or pre-drill, I don't know. Okay, let's try this. Okay, as you can see, this side over here hangs off. This side is short. I was so concentrated on driving those stupid nails through that I goofed it up, so I'll have to take that board back off. <sighs> Great. I'm going to have to quit, though. I'm going to have to go get some steel shank nails or something. This is ridiculous. I knew those galvanized nails probably wouldn't be very good, but I already had them, so I figured if they would work, I could just use what I've got, but obviously that was stupid. Great. But at least now I know if I pre drill them, it works a little better, so. Well. I guess that's about it for today, but you can kind of kind of see it taking shape there. See what it'll kind of look like. I am gonna have to take that two by back down and pull all those stupid nails out of it and get some proper nails. But I should be done with this probably this weekend because it's supposed to get up into the lower 50s. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so hopefully I can cut that much lumber. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough logs down to cut out of or not. I might have to cut up a couple more logs, which stinks, which means I'll have to take the timber jig off and put the bark dogs back on, and or the spikes, switch my chain back over. Oh, well. No biggie. But I'm hoping to maybe get this done this weekend. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. But you can, like I said, kind of tell what it's going to be. The door's going to be right here. Plenty of room. 
You make a pretty good sized chicken coop. Probably put the nest boxes over here against this wall once we get out here. I think that's probably even wide enough to drive my riding mower up in here. I bet it is. Maybe not with the deck on it, but I've got the deck pulled off anyway. I've been using my riding lawnmower to skid boards and stuff. I skidded all these 4x4s down here with the with the lawnmower and a tow strap, so I don't have four wheelers or tractors or anything, so I gotta work with what I got. And it sure beats carrying them down here by hand, so. Yeah, I think it'll work out just fine. Ooh, cool.